All right, hello and welcome back to the chess grind. How about that game from yesterday, huh? I'm still thinking about that today. It was pretty funny. <laughs> Winning with 0.1 seconds on the clock. Couldn't believe it. I, I watched the video back and the timer actually did get down to zero seconds, which was kind of wild. Um, oh, is this what I think it is? Oh, wow. A cow fan. <laughs> what do you guys think about this opening? <laughs> oh, wow. It's uh, maybe not a cow. Uh, I think I could attack, but I think I'll just develop some pieces instead. Um, let's see, he has two attackers there, so I don't know if I want to quite bring the bishop out to c4. Um, maybe d3 is more reasonable. Okay. I probably could attack on e5, but maybe just developing is the way to go. Okay, he might push up here. I think I'll just defend that with the bishop on e3. I need to keep in mind that this pawn's hanging now. Hmm. Could pin his knight. Let's see if he has any really weak pieces. Mm, no. Everything's protected at the moment. I'm thinking g5 next to pin his knight. And then perhaps... Okay. I think what he's planning is to go b4, forces my knight out. Then he goes like this. I think I'll just go b4. Oh... No, 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 it's not open yet. So I think I'll go b4. Um, sure, I'll trade this off. Oh, wow. That's quite the move. With the queen. I was expecting the rook to take there. Um, okay. Just made things more interesting. I'll protect the knight on c3. His d pawn's uh, hanging at the moment. Okay. Let's see, do I want to attack his d pawn? Maybe I just attack it this way, huh? I could trade the bishop off here. Oh uh, no, I can't do that because that would love that would leave my knight hanging on c3. I can't do that. I'll go for the bishop. Maybe he'll scoot this over. Maybe he'll attack. I think if he starts attacking with his pawns, I'll just start trading off. Think about this. We take with the bishop or the knight.
I need to be mindful of my hanging pieces here. Okay, so I think I came out ahead on that. Okay. Hmm. I have to jump this back, right? My bishop's in a really bad spot. I could always let him take and then attack his queen, but that seems really bad. I think I'll just move back. Right. I always miss the discovered things. <laughs> oh, and then his knight is defending this. Yeah, it feels really bad. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We move on. Okay, what do we do about this? Okay, all of his pieces are defended, minus the rook here. So, let's see, we could go here. What to do? What to do? Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do. Time. Yep, that is that is a stopwatch. <laughs> that is a stopwatch indeed. Um okay, flag check Germany, right? Germany or Belgium? Germany. Amateur 72. How are we going to come back from this? I mean, I guess his queen's hanging at the moment. Nothing's protecting it, but... I don't know if that means much. Maybe I just defend this pawn so my... Bishop can go do other stuff. What do you guys do in situations like this? Where you have a pawn on e4. It's not connected to another pawn. But your king... Uh, has the potential to get back ranked mated oh, at some point. Well, I guess he kind of solved that problem for me. Uh, would you push the F pawn up or would you push the H pawn up to give your king the option to escape if, if need be? Mm, do I just trade these off? I guess I just opened up the attack on his queen, huh? Okay, okay, so he just pulled a me, so that move right there is totally on brand for my channel. I can't make fun of him because that happens to me so much, so. That happened to me about two days ago. Now all I have to do is just not lose on time, I think. Um, okay, so I think he's looking for the check here. Um, either way, that's defended. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, what can I attack? I could just start trading pieces off, huh? Ah, I see. Maybe I'll just defend this way. Do not get forked. Um, I think that's okay. 
I did have check there. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I had check with the bishop, and then I could have snagged his knight there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that would have been the move. That would have been the move. I think it's going to be one move too late. I'm really tempted to copy and paste this clock back to him, but I feel like that's going to be unsportman like. <laughs> yeah, I basically just need to keep in mind that his king is on an open diagonal here. I really hope he does anything besides. Oh, well. All right, GG. So, yeah, that game was basically won, I think. Let's see. Um... Let's go to the game review. I think that game could have been secured with that bishop move. Let's just jump there really fast. Okay. So check. He's forced to run. Takes. And now it's oh mate in three. I probably wouldn't find mate in three or mate in four. But um yeah, cool. GG. Cool. So that was a fun game. Let's go through it. I thought he was going to win there, um, if I'm being completely honest. He kind of started off playing this cow thing, and then it kind of diverted from the cow with this pawn move. I was expecting him to go knight d7 there. But he didn't end up playing that. I'm glad I played bishop d3. I think d4 would have been a waste to move. Because after pawn takes, pawn takes, he still has the one more pawn threat on d5, and then my bishop would have to run. Um, and obviously I wouldn't want to trade it off with the knight, so... Yeah, I was playing a game last night with some viewers on the stream. And one thing that I did was block the d2 bishop in, or excuse me, did the d2 pawn in with the bishop. And the bishop was in a really awkward spot uh, here the whole game, and the dark square bishop couldn't really get out. Um, and the advice there was to not block the pawns in, the central pawns with the bishops. And so that's one thing I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of. So because these two pawns already ran up, I figured it was okay to just put the bishop on the center square here, since this diagonal was open. Yeah, I thought this move was a little bit too passive, if I was being completely honest. So fair move, fine move there, okay. I was really tempted to start attacking here, um, but I was trying to kind of follow some principles and just develop the pieces first before launching an attack. What was the idea here? Oh yeah, I didn't want him to kick my knight. I think that's all I was after there. I was just not wanting the knight to get kicked. Yeah, I suppose I could have moved back or moved the queen up. But um, obviously losing the knight to a pawn wouldn't have been ideal. So that was the idea there. But what does the engine have to say about this anyway? Pawn h4, yeah, I definitely would not have seen that. Best move from him. I was really expecting him to retake with the rook there. I was surprised he put his queen in that in that position. So the knight was hanging here on c3, so we defended with the queen. That was the idea. Move the bishop to a better square. Yep, I noticed that d6 was hanging for him. But the engine wants d5 knight. Interesting. Oh, I see the line. Okay, um, I think this is the line. So I think he takes because the queen's open. Um, right? And then at this point, it's what? Check. 
what runs and then takes the queen and the knight is still um unattacked here is that the line i think that's the line but anyways okay so good move there okay yeah i was going back and forth between which piece to capture with here i wasn't quite sure but I wanted to just throw in the least valuable piece, or the less valuable piece, rather. Hmm, interesting. Oh, sure, so just move it out of harm's way and attack his knight. That makes sense. Hmm, that makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah, I figured he... I don't know if this is a trade or he just is down a bishop here. Um, well, no, because I traded off one of my minor pieces, the knight, in this trade, so. Hmm. Queen g5. Oops, you gave up a bishop. Oh, sure. Yeah, I failed to recognize that my bishop was hanging here. Right, that makes sense. Yeah, that was a discovered attack that I missed. Thanks, engine. Appreciate you. Yeah, I was losing a knight there, so that was kind of a bummer. Good move by him, though. I thought that was a nice discovery by him. Yeah, I'm glad I took with the knight there. I figured there was the option for the trade here, but um, I thought I was going to come out behind if I did that. Okay. Yeah, so obviously this is where the game turned around and flipped in my favor. Yeah, he just didn't see that. Um, he tunnel visioned, something I do all the time that I've lost uh, plenty of games to. And then it was all over from there. Yeah, so obviously a blunder, and then he threw away his lead. So yeah, GG, fun game. Um, definitely a lesson in kind of discovered attack. So he discovered... An attack on my bishop i discovered an attack fortunately on his uh, more valuable piece the queen and that was that and uh, yeah thanks guys for watching and i will do a quick announcement and a quick plug uh, i usually stream on twitch around 10 p.m to midnight pacific time us pst so uh, if you want to hang out with me and play i usually try to play with viewers uh feel free to uh, chime in I have my Twitch link in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next game.